hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will see the design and development of this beautiful dashboard from start to end in tableau software so our today's topic is credit card complaints dashboard so we will see the design and development of this beautiful dashboard from start to end and you can practice the same in your uh, system as well all right so now the data which we will be using for designing of this particular dashboard it is a dummy data we are not using any original data or any real-time data of any of the credit card company or any of the banking domain so this this data is generated just for practice purpose and it does not relate to any of the company all right so you can see there are different different charts present on this particular dashboard different panels are present uh, so we will see how these are operated first how we operate the dashboard first and it is completely interactive and dynamic so i will show you how it is dynamic and how it is interactive as well all right so here you can see there are different kpis different charts are there different export panels are there different filter panels are there so i will show you how how it is dynamic first so i will show you how it is operated by using an action filter so here we have a issue wise uh chart is there whenever i'm clicking on any of the issue you can see it is changing dynamically with respect to that particular issue right so this is one interactive or action filter we can say by then we have a company response wise also when i'm clicking on this you can see it is changing with respect to that all right then the, we have some quick filters here uh year filter right with respect to this also our data is changing all right so now uh, you can see on each of this particular charts there are some individual filters i have applied for that particular chart so you can see this is a weekly trend of that particular uh, credit card company and the, we have added up an average like this is the weekly average one reference line or we can say a trend line which is there not a trend line we can say a reference line and we have shown the maximum and minimum points here so if, if we want to see monthly you can see monthly here if we want to see weekly then if you want to see the quarterly trend then we have this filter then we have a yearly trend filter also we can see how the complaints are coming daily all right so this is one filter which we have applied here then we have a state wise complaint so in state wise complaints if you can see we have shown here a density map so wherever there is a dense color is there we can say the more number of data is present in that particular states or more number of complaints are coming from that particular state so we will see the design of this but i have added one more filter over here you can see uh, if we, if a user want to see a density map and he he also want to see a field map right so whenever i'm clicking on field map you can see a field map will be displayed whenever i'm clicking on density map you can see a density map is displayed so this is a we can see a sheet swapping parameter which we you will be learning in this particular dashboard all right so then you can see there is one calendar over here everyone knows a calendar right so for each of the month how many complaints are coming daily you can see so when i to choose a december 2020 the calendar will be displayed for that and darker the color darker or what i can say darker the blue color more number of complaints uh, in that particular uh, what we can say day has been registered all right so you can you can switch in between different different months you can see how daily the complaints are coming or month wise the complaints are coming all right so this is a filter which we have applied here as well then we have some export panels here so it is used to convert into pdf to image or into powerpoint so this dashboard will be automatically converted to pdf image or powerpoint so whenever i'm clicking on pdf see it is asking you uh, whether you want to convert the entire workbook or this particular active dashboard and you it, it is asking you whether you want to convert it into landscape form or any other form so when i click on ok it is asking you where where you want to save it right so this is one way where we can convert it into pdf then when i click on image this total will be converted into a png form and there are different other forms formats which you can convert it into right then we have a powerpoint like it will be converted into a ppt format right so this is one option which we have so this is a, these are some advanced option which we are going to use here all right so you can see there are kpis and we are showing a rolling 12 months uh what we can say complaints rolling 12 months means nothing but the last 12 months right so uh, whenever we go forward one uh, by month so like right now we are in december when we go in january so from january last 12 months it should be shown dynamically okay it should be dynamic okay then we have total complaints and timely response and then there are some spark lines which are added over to each kpis all right so we will see design and development of this complete dashboard each and everything from small to this beautiful dashboard everything will be covered in this video so i request you all to see the video from start to end and 
definitely you will be learning so many basics to advanced things right so all types of calculations are used here all types of advanced uh, functionalities of tableau will be done and it will help you in your daily day uh, day to day life uh, work as well as if you are a beginner uh, it will help you to crack so many interviews as well all right so this is what uh, uh, this is a credit card compliance dashboard the next thing i uh, will show you the data which we are going to use here so this is the data which we will be using it is in the form of excel sheet so if we can see there are almost 86000 or we can say 87000 of rows are there approximately and these are a number of fields which we have are uh, almost 25 number of columns we are having so as i always say uh, first thing which we have to do is you have you have to always learn or spend some time on data first right so if you are understanding the data the granularity of the data from higher level to the lower level uh, the 60 percent of your work is completed over there okay, right another 40 or 30 percent of work which is shown in the form of visualization that is just uh, what we can say whatever you have studied you have to show it into the visualization so spend some time on data try to learn the data what at what level of the data is there right so uh, then what different columns we are having how the data is represented how the data is captured at what granular it is, level it is captured right so these are important things right so for me you have already studied the data and i have already prepared the dashboard right so i request you all first study the data and then you can create a dashboard all right and whatever i am doing it is not necessary that you should replicate or copy the same try to innovate something because the data i have used uh, I have not used all the uh, columns or I have not shown everything in my dashboard. You can make five to six dashboard of this particular uh, data. So I have just prepared one and uh, by using the same you can add or uh, you can prepare some more dashboards as well. All right. So uh, before wasting time, so we, we should start our design. So I will take a new sheet for that. So let me open. So this is my new workbook which I have taken. So we will see from start how we are doing this. So first we have to connect to data then we are using a excel file so I will choose an excel file and uh, I will go to desktop and I have my data in this right so this is my data and I will just open it okay so the data I will add a description uh, the link for you to download in the description box of this video from there you can go ahead and download the data all right so whenever i'm connecting so you will get and uh, so the metadata of this particular data right so here you can see what are, what number of columns are there right and uh, what are their data types okay and this is some sample data which will be uh, shown for you and from here you can see whether all the particular rows and columns are displayed correctly and uh, if the data is populating correctly in the table or not all right so this is the first thing which we do right so now we have connected to our data we are only we are we have only one sheet of data so we are fortunate enough like we are only dealing with one particular sheet so i will make some videos where you will be dealing with uh, multiple number of sheets and uh, where you have to prepare some uh, or you have to apply some joins uh, you have to join the tables you have to apply the relationships or a blending right so we will see that that part as well so now we will go to our sheet and we will start preparing our dashboard all right so the first thing which i will uh, prepare is i will i will go ahead and prepare this kpis okay all these kpis we will be preparing the first three kpis and then we have uh, some uh, some normal or we can say sub kpis also and then we will prepare this park lines as well okay so we will completely design this first uh, strip that is of kpi uh, we will place it into dashboard and then we will go ahead for this particular other charts okay so this video will be going to be a bit long because there are so many calculations in what so many uh, what we can say uh, panels are there so many charts are there which you have you will have to prepare and then also uh, you will have to place it into your dashboard which should be visually appealing and it should be easy for a user or for you to uh, operate uh, you know easily right so i will go back to my dashboard and we will start preparing our first kpi that is total complaints okay so i will rename the sheet and i will name it as total complaints right so total complaints if you go in the data source and if you can see uh, the total complaints is nothing but the number of records right so number of records you have a last column that is a number of records so for each record it is taking the number as one right 
so this is what uh, uh, a record for each record of uh, one number is taken so we can take the sum of this number of records directly into our table right so we have uh, this this what we can say measure is generated and there are dimensions and measures are here so it it's it's nothing but uh, what we can say tableau identifies uh, what are categorical uh, values and what are the major values right so categorical are mentioned in terms of dimensions and those are what you can say facts with those are converted into a measures or measurable values so i will take a number of records and i will just put it into the text so these are number of total number of records so i will go in text and just i will we will format this quickly so we will make it to 26 and we will make it black and we will make it tableau bold apply okay and we will make it enter view and we will just change the alignment to center all right so this is what our first kpi then second part which we have to do is we have to find this rolling 12 months uh, records right so first i will show you what is rolling first uh, let me name it as rolling 12 month complaints all right so let's discuss first what is mean by rolling 12 month okay so for this particular thing we will be using a date received uh, date field so when i bring it into visualization and let's convert it into month and i will convert it into the script okay so you can see our uh, what we can say the lowest month or the le uh, the start of the month of this particular data is december and the latest month which we are having is april 2021 right so we are not having a real time data like uh, where we can use any today function right so today is uh, uh, 25th of december like today is christmas so merry christmas to everyone and uh, we, we don't have a 2022 it is somewhat a historical data because this is the dummy data right so what our requirement is that we want to find out last 12 months of data so if we calculate from last 12 months so april march from april up to what we can say from here up to this 12 right so you can see these are 12 items so up to may we have to find out what were the number of records right so this is mean by rolling 12 months and whenever we go from april to uh, what we can say june right april to may sorry from when we go from april to may so it will be calculating from june up to may so that will be 12 months right so it should be dynamic because, right so how to do that so for that what we will do first uh, i will be creating a parameter so i will show i will i will tell you why we are creating this parameter and i will take it as a maximum date see now this parameter why i am creating is because i want this value or the last date of this particular date right if we are using or if we are working on real time data you can use a today function because today is what uh, a today is the latest day um, which will be captured automatically by tableau but we are working on historical data so i have to hard codingly find or we have to hard code this value into our calculation that is a latest or the last day of april so what i can do is i can just write a lod function here and i will write a maximum of date received and i will close this LOD. okay so this will give us the latest date and i will click okay and after that i will create a parameter here so i will create a parameter and i will name it as maximum date received right so this will be a date value and uh, we will be taking it from a workbook right so we will be not hard coding here so it will be an automatic value right so i will take it from the one calculation which you have already created that is maximum date received right so it is taking as 10 for 2021 it is the maximum value in this particular dashboard so right so our last date or the entry of the last date is 10 for 2021 it is automatically capturing from this particular calculation which you wrote uh, uh, a few minutes before right so i will click on ok right so now we will write our calculation so i will write a calculation create a calculated field and we will write a rolling 12 month filter okay so now we will be using a date difference date diff function so date diff okay and we will be using a date part 
we are using it on month because we want to show it for last 12 months so we will be using a date month and then i will use again one function that is date trunk and for date trunk again i will use a date month so what does date trunk do is it truncates to a uh, first or we can say first date of that particular month so for april if it is a 10th april what date trunk will do it will convert that particular month to first of april right so means truncates to initial uh, of that particular date part right so it depends upon date right and then we want to select a date right so first which date we will select we will see it a date received okay uh, which is our normal date in our particular data set right and second argument again we will take it as date trunk and our next will be month comma and next will be what the parameter which we have written right so from here from this parameter we will take the latest date right that is maximum of date received max date received right so you can uh, give some different names so you will not be confused here so it is a parameter so i will just click here okay i will make a little bigger for you to be visible so this calculation is valid right so i will click on okay and i will try to bring it into text okay so after bringing into text you can see there are so many of values by taking difference of that there are so many values are seeing here so instead of sum, what we'll do, we will go ahead and make it as of minimum. All right. So if you convert it into minimum, you can see uh, the difference between each month we are getting. So like from the difference between April to March, it is one. Then from April to February, it is two. So it is taking the difference from the latest month, right? From April to January, it is three. From April to December, it is four. All right. So what we want is we want the last 12 months. So if it is starting from zero, so from 0 to 11 it will be total of 12 months all right so now how we, how can we convert this calculation into our uh, our requirement so what i will do i will first remove this and the calculation which we have i will just edit this and i will con i will show it as less than 12 right so if we are converted it to lowest than 12 i will click on okay and now it is a true or false filter and when i click again put it into the text you can see we are getting a true condition from may right so if we can see this so 12 items are selected so we will be getting a 12 month of uh, what we can say a 12 month of window we are getting here and this will be dynamic guys if a new month of data will be added like from april to uh, like we can say may what will this calculation will do it will find the maximum date of may and then it will feed this value into this parameter right and from this parameter it will feed this value into this uh, particular calculation right so for this if it is a historical data we will have to find use pre-calculations right if it is a real-time data what we will be using here if instead of this we will be use a today function here right so because it is a real-time data we will be using a today's date and today will be capturing as what we can say automatically uh, the system will capture capture the today's date right so this is this is what uh, for historical data we are using this all right so now next thing what we will do uh, we want actual values here right so we will write one more calculation and i will name it as rolling 12 months complaints all right now what i will write a calculation here is i will take a sum of this so if i will aggregate it as year only so if the rolling if this is equal to true okay if this is equal to true then okay if this if this is equal to true then what we want here is a total number of records okay then we want number of records and we will end this all right so you can see this calculation is valid now so I will click on OK. We will remove this. And if you try to bring this into the text, you can see we are only getting last 12 months of records. And above everything, it is blank. Right. So this is a dynamic one. So now we don't want month here. We want only a value. So we have converted it into value. We will click into entire view. And we will change the alignment to center. And we will just format this text quickly. So we will name it as 
rolling 12 months some of the them call it as trailing months also so for this i will make it as w bold and this i uh, will keep it as a 9 itself or i will make it as 10 and i will use this color okay and for here uh, i will be using a w bold and i will make it as 14 apply got it so now next is what we have to create a spark line over here right so this this spark line we, we need to create so how to do that so i will take a new sheet and i will complaints spark line all right so for here i will be taking as date received and we will be using it for month wise all right and uh, we will be taking as a total number of records all right so this is total number of records i will make it as a area chart and what i will do is i will uh, create one more uh, sum of records here so i will just press control uh, by pressing control and uh, i will create one more uh, duplicate uh, sum of records here so there will be two charts here then i will what I, or if you are not getting this you can drag from uh, number of records again over here right so it will again create one more chart and i will make it as a dual axis and after making dual axis we have to synchronize the axis uh, which is the important thing uh, always remember that and uh, the next thing is what this is the area chart but for second one i will make it as a line chart all right and for area chart i will be using color as this and for this i will be choosing a color as white so i will make it as a, a white color and we will hide everything so we don't want this particular things on our spark line all right so we have completed our first kpi guys so this complete kpi has been completed and we will go ahead for the second one so the second one is what timely response okay so now these were the total complaints timely response is nothing but out of that total complaints how many has been responded and been closed okay so that is nothing but timely response so we will go ahead and we will create create a second one that is timely response all right so when we when we see our data here so we have one uh what we can say uh a field here for timely response i will show you where it is okay so you can see uh, we have a field here that is a timely response okay and for this uh, if it is timely if it is timely responded we have it as a value s and if it is not responded yet we have it as no okay so we will have to convert this yes as a number one and we will convert no as a number zero and after converting yes as a number one we will take the sum of that right simple so we will just create one calculation here then we will name it as timely response all right and i will write a calculation as if if timely response is equal to in single or double inverted course you can raise yes because uh whatever value in that particular categorical dimension is there if we are writing as it is we have to write it in the form of double quotes then one else we will take it as zero else means we have only one value that is zero zero and we will end all right so calculation is valid and we will break it into visualization and we will just quickly format this as well so i will name it make it as 26 w bold apply ok center and i will make it as interview got it so this is our kpi the next thing we will make making it as closed percentage okay so we'll take a new sheet and closed percentage closed percentage is nothing but out of total complaints how many of have been responded timely so what is the percentage of timely response right or respond uh, sorry for my english <laughs> how many have been responded timely all right so then we will be taking it as closed percentage 
all right so it is nothing but we will have to take a ratio so sum of what we will take sum of timely response divided by sum of total number of records all right we will click ok we will bring this into visualization so we will format this and we will make this number as percentage all right so it has converted to percentage entire view you quickly format this this is 14 and we will add her year one text that is closed percent so for this we will make it as bold will be 10 and we will be using this color for this it will be again bold apply okay alignment is center all right so second one is completed the next what we have to do is we have to prepare this particular line okay this is nothing but a progress bar we can say okay so how to do this uh, we will take again uh, the just calculation we have created that is closed percentage we will break into two columns so we have this uh, as up to 0 0.98 okay but we want a hundred percent of uh, uh, something uh, behind that right so i will write here one calculation as average of zero okay average of one not zero we will make it as average of one okay so we have a dual axis chart so what we will do quickly we will uh, make it a dual axis and we will synchronize the axis all right and from automatic we will convert it into a bar okay similarly for this also we will convert it into bar and we will take it this uh, after this right so we will uh, take first the average of one then we will show a percentage closed all right so for this uh, for first what we will choose the color as uh, let me take it as red for average of one it is red apply and for this uh, we will take it as gray <laughs> where is gray where is gray this one we will take oh, okay. this is okay apply okay all right and we will make it as interview so we will be using this into our uh, as a progress bar so we will hide everything we don't want this particular axis oops this is synchronized and we just don't want the headers all right we don't want this as well or we will uh, we will show that in particular uh, dashboard while preparing the dashboard we will have this okay so i will name it as progress bar all right so now we have completed our second kpi now we will go to our third one so in progress complaints is nothing but guys if you see in this particular dashboard in, po in progress are nothing but those those complaints which are taken by the company and they are responding back or they are trying to closing they are trying to resolve those particular complaints right so uh, let's see how we can find those so we have one field here that is company public response or not sorry the company response to the consumer so when we take into the rows you can see there is one particular category which we have here is in progress right so when i take number of records into this particular uh, value so you can see these are in progress complaints which we have we are seeing so we are we are going to show this itself so what we are going to do we will be writing one calculation here and uh, i will name it as in progress complaints and i will write a calculation as if company response to consumer it is equal to in progress right so try make sure you are not making any pro spelling mistake here whatever it is there into that particular field same should be repeated here then we want total number of records that is number of records and we will name it end all right calculation is valid and we will break it into the text right then we will again quickly format this as well and i will make it as bold and i will make it as 26 okay right so this is our next the kpi and the next what we have to do is in progress right 
so in progress are nothing but out of total com complaints how many are in progress so the lower lesser the percentage it will be a benefit to the company or we can say the customers are happy that more number of complaints are resolved right so i will take a new sheet again here and i will name it as in progress percentage in progress percentage just copy this okay so what we will do we will write one more calculation here and i will name it as in progress percentage and we can write the sum of in progress okay we have in progress complaints here divided by sum of number of records okay and we will bring it to here and we will format this and we will convert it into percentage and two decimal points so again we will format this quickly and i will write here as in progress percentage and i will make this as bold and we will make it in 10 lie and i will color as this here as well i will make it as bold and we will take it as 14 apply okay perfect and the next is the spark line this spark line we have to prepare and it is it is in the form of week number guys okay it is not a month so i will take a maximum of date received here all right i will place it here sorry not this one uh, we want a date received here and we will convert it into week numbers okay the next one uh, we will take the number of records in progress okay in progress complaint and we will place it here okay so these are nulls why because these are nulls because we have in progress complaints for 2021 only okay so we will just hide this because uh, all the complaints which are in progress are from 7 feb to 14th of 4th of april okay so these are uh, all the incompletes and then i will just uh, what i will do i will create one more uh, sum of here so i will uh, we will have a dual axis uh, we want to create a dual axis uh, we will create it into a dual axis and for the first one i will make it as area chart and i will color it as this and second for this uh, i will make it as a line chart and i will make a color as this all right so you can see a white line white line is there a short then i will just synchronize this and then we will hide this we don't want this this as well we don't want all right so this we will name it as in progress spark line all right guys so we have completed all the uh, what we can say required calculations and required charts of this particular kps what we will do we will start preparing the dashboard we will show this particular things into our dashboard right so simultaneously we will uh, design our dashboard as well so i will take a new dashboard and uh, for width for me i will be using it as 1500 okay so depending upon your screen resolution you can use any form of uh, pixel size okay depend on you and your system so i will be using as 1500 by uh, 900 so i will uh, try to increase that i will make it as 1600 okay this is fine uh, all right so this is my dashboard i will show the dashboard title here and what i will do is uh, i will take a horizontal container and i will add a blank blue okay this blank is nothing but it will be a guide uh, it, it requires or it, sometimes it doesn't requires also so i will just reduce this size and i will make it as uh, up to uh, let's say 100 or uh, we will make it as uh, let me see what was our size so i've noted it down we will make it as 155 somewhat okay so this so we will just increase this a little bit okay so this this seems a little... all right this is fine this is fine okay so now what we will do uh, next we will start adding our charts over here so before that what we have to do we have to create these backgrounds okay this colorful backgrounds which we have to create here so for that i will take uh, 
blanks and I will add it here first blank then I will add a second blank and I will add a third blank okay I have, I have added three blanks here all right so now I will go in layout and I will change the background color here okay I will change the color and for this I will be using a color code here so I have already uh, written my color code what I will be using is uh, first I will be using as a, a, a four times a and ff all right so this will be my first one and for my background uh, i will be using as opacity of 60 percent okay so this is my first and for second i will design it again and i will be using a code as f39 f39 367 you can use our own color codes guys doesn't matter so i will be using here as 60 percent and for third one i will be using it as hashtag 00d66 00d66 okay and i will make it as 60 percent of transparency or opacity all right and one more thing what we have to add is uh, we have to add a filter panel which will be there so this panel we have to add at the right so i will take one vertical container and i will add it here yeah all right so i will just make it a small one okay this is fine yep this is fine all right so what we will do uh, we will just give it a color so we will be you know it will be identified for us that yeah this is a panel all right and what we can do here is i will take this particular filter horizontal container and i will give it a background color as this 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 is fine okay all right so now next thing what we have to do we will start placing our kpis over here right and we will change the name of dashboard as credit card complaints dashboard make it as w bold and we will make it as 22 apply or we will make it as 20 this is fine okay perfect all right so the next thing what we have to do we will start placing our kpis over here. so we will be not using any tiled one so we will be using a floating one because uh, these are not tiled things these are these will be placed in the form of floatings right so first we will add a text one because we have to give a heading here so first is our total complaints so this is my total complaints and i will make it as to center it will be w bold and i will make it as 20. okay so 20 is a little big so i will make it as first black and i will make it as 16. yeah this is fine all right so then i will control c control v i will just copy this and i will place it over here similar control v and i'll place it one over here so this is our what timely response okay and these are our in progress perfect yeah if you want to reduce the size of uh, this uh, let's make it as 15 this as well i'm not remembering what i have used but still right. so now next thing uh, we will start adding our image not an image first we will add our this that is total complaints so first i will hide this So these are our total complaints then i will add a rolling 12 months first i will hide this and i will place it over here
all right we will add our spark line as well so we'll just hide the title we'll make it small so we will have to adjust it over here all right so now what we will do we will quickly format these things So I will just go in format and in shading I will say no none we don't want any shading similarly for this I will go and say none and for this as well I will go ahead and say none all right perfect so just increase this all right and we will format this again and we will just turn off everything every grid line we will just go ahead and turn off we don't want anything any line we, we will be not displaying on any of these particular grid lines all right so we have a small border is there over here so we will go in borders and we will remove this as well perfect right so you can see this is uh, this looks nice clean and uh, uh, what we can say a good good looking uh, what we can say kpi we can see here only here we can see for this particular kpi we have given a red color we will just go ahead and change this so i would go here and here and i will change the color of this to red apply okay perfect so this is our kpi all right so we have one small line here you can see i have added one small line so i will show you how to add that particular line which will be a distinct visual so i will go in layout then first i will go in dashboard and i will add a blank over here i will just reduce its size somewhat okay and we can make a width as 3 and height as let's say 75 okay and i will give it a background color it looks somewhat brown so i will give the background as this oh sorry i gave the background more colors and we will choose it from here and we'll just choose a dark one perfect okay okay guys so uh, the other formattings you can do it on your own then we can select this and i will just first select this container horizontal and after selecting this horizontal container we will make distribute contents evenly what will happen this will not allow this kpis to reduce or this containers to re, uh, extend or reduce their size so it will be distributed evenly into this particular space all right so this was our first and we will similarly do for uh, this two as well okay so i will choose our timely response for this and i will just hide this so i will do this quickly in my speed you can you can do it in your own speed uh slow by slow or if you if you're good in this you can do it fastly as well and for the third one so we will do the similar thing
perfect guys so we have made up kipa so what we will do we will just add our images over here whatever we are be using uh, to show some uh, what we can say design to our dashboard so i will take a image i will center this and i will choose and we have it here so i will take a credit card first okay perfect and we will just copy this and we will just edit this image and we will choose another image over here for this timely response okay again we will choose another image in progress perfect guys so we have made our kpi right so the kpi this part has been completed so almost 40 percent of work is completed next we have to prepare this particular what we can say uh, the charts and we will place them again into our dashboard